Hello there, it's Lasermax, and today I want to be talking about shurikens. Uh, I just recently found out that you can use shurikens to stalk wilderness in a different way than you typically do. So what you typically would do is you try to predict or react to the wall run and then throw the shuriken to hit them while they're, they're in the wall run. But there's actually a better way to use shurikens to shut down wall runs. And that would be to throw the shuriken while they're still on the ground. Because if, if it gets auto blocked, they're gonna be stuck in that block stun which prevents them from wall running. Or, if they decide to charge in order to avoid the block stun, you can fake it, and then they can't wall run either way because you can't wall run while you're uh, charging. So this, this changes everything. It's so much easier to lock someone down at the wall if you can just throw a shuriken before the wall run even happens. Um, because, well, after you throw it or fake it, you can apply pressure while they're while they're stuck. If you're close enough, you can even uh, shuffle into a quick move before they can wall run. And so the shuriken pressure is really really useful for that. This just makes shuriken so much more important to Blade Symphony because defense in Blade Symphony is really hard to deal with. And someone who's backing off, it's, even though there are a few ways to hit those, generally speaking, if someone is backing off really hard and really early, there isn't really much you can do to touch them. All you can really do is walk forward and force them to back off till they eventually get backed up to the wall. And well, if you can consistently catch them there, then well, that's a good way to shut down runners. Just follow them to the wall, get the the shuriken lockdown so they stay down and even if they get to the wall run chances are you're already gonna be throwing a shuriken way ahead of time because you're just gonna throw it uh, much earlier to catch them on the ground now needless to say you can also use shurikens in the open so i might as well cover that the whole point of shurikens is to either well it's a mix up between throwing the shuriken and trying to cause block stun or uh, forcing the opponent to charge and then faking the shuriken. Now if you let it rip and they charge, they can hit you. Because they're not in block stun, they can just walk up while you're stuck after the shuriken. So the mix up here is sort of like, throw the shuriken, if they get out of blocked, then that's a win for you. Um, they might read that and go for the charge, in which case uh, you lose if you commit to the shuriken, but you win if you fake it. That's the 50-50. But it's sort of like a win-win scenario, because regardless of whether they uh, get stuck in the auto block stun, or if they charge, they're gonna limit their options in either case. So, uh, it's really good to just go for it in general in the open, just to check on the opponent, to try to put them in an awkward spot here, try to make them charge. And then you can sort of like apply pressure, because charging limits your movement options. Uh, shuffling, rolling, and that sort of stuff. More importantly, they can't shuffle jump. So that lock down their moves, maybe bait them to attack, who knows. Other than that, sometimes people are really erratic with their movement and they aren't really paying much attention. So if you just go for one and let it rip, sometimes it'll hit someone just doing a sh random shuffle jump. It's really not that bad of an idea to go for a shuriken in the open every once now and then to stay unpredictable. But it's most important for the walls. Uh, the moment you see that you get them sort of close-ish to the wall, they don't have to stand literally with their back to the wall, but sort of like here. If they're standing here and you see they're in that position, you just throw it immediately. Or fake, or throw, or fake into throw. To move a little bit in between. That's sort of how you have to play it, so. And then if you get lucky and you get a shuriken close enough, then you can like run in and get the hit. Or even just run in to bait the wall run before you get too close. Now, I've said this before in some other video, but... 
If someone wall runs, generally it's better to stay at a distance from the wall. Because, well, they're gonna try to jump over you. More or less. And if you're not that close to the wall, uh, chances are you're gonna be able to quickly change direction and catch them either way. The worst thing you can do against the wall run is run all the way up to the wall. Because then you've put yourself as far away from their destination as possible. But if you're still far away from the wall, then you sort of are where they're trying to go, right? This is almost where the landing is for a wall run. So if you can get them into block stun and then just apply pressure to force the wall run, you might actually be able to change your mind and um, uh, get them back. There's always something to gain from throwing a shuriken at the wall. It's either going to directly give you hits by locking them down, or it's gonna force them to go for riskier and more badly timed wall runs. So, yeah, throw shurikens when you get, get them to the wall. Um, and I think that's all for now. Have a good one.